great people, Habari Zenu, from wherever you are watching us from, Karibu San. I want to welcome you so much and to thank you so, so, so much because of your support, because of subscribing to our YouTube channels. My name is Winrose Wangoi and my YouTube channel name is Winrose Wangoi TV. Karibu Tena Sana uh, in our program today, our, uh, our American Dream, My American Dream. That is the name of our program as we introduced last week and we promise that we'll be coming every week every week every week to meet you so that we can interact and so that we can bring you new things or new information about america today we are entering into room one yes room one of my american dream and i am so eager also to know more because i know nothing yes my co-host will be my guest today Day. Yes, I am the one who is asking questions. I don't know where she is hiding. My dear, show up. <laughs> show up. Where are you? I'm here. I'm around. How are you? <laughs> I'm very fine. What are, how are you doing? <laughs> I am doing well. I missed you so much. Me too. I missed you since last weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are back. We are back. I was so eager. I was waiting for this day because I was. I really wanted to get into the first room. Our first room, you know, our day one. It looks like our day one in school. Our day one at work. It is our day one. Our room one. Uh, in our brand new show. Are you ready for it? I'm so so excited, and and I'm yeah. very ready. I but they say hi to your people. <laughs> oh, bye. Forgive my manners. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. <laughs> my name is Shiko Hop, and my YouTube channel is Shiko Hop TV USA. And this is my American Dream Show. Thank you so much, kindly good people. Continue subscribing to our YouTube channels and doing so, you will be supporting us and you will be uh, getting every show that we are bringing you uh, in every week, every weekend, every weekend, on every weekend on our YouTube channels. Yes, so yes. today... We are entering into our room one of my American dream and we are talking about green card. Yes, the reason why we chose to start or to begin with this program is because we have a couple of weeks, a few weeks to uh, the beginning of green card application that takes a, a month or so. Yes, that takes a month. Yeah, we need to get ready for those who want to apply this time. We need to get ready in advance and you need to know that you don't, it is not a matter of waking up in the morning and just getting into a cyber. Yes, you need to be prepared in advance. And here is where you will know uh, exactly how you need to prepare yourself before you apply for green card. Yes. And we don't want to assume, Shiko, that everyone knows what is green, what green card is. And I want to ask you questions and please make sure that you answer us so that we can get ready <laughs> with yes. full information. Yes. Uh, Shiko, what <laughs> is green card? Green card. Green card is a card which is green in color. <laughs> <laughs> but how to get that card is the process. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the first way of getting a green card is through DV lottery, mm -hmm. which we all know it as playing green card. That is in, in layman's language. Yes. Which is a green card. Mm. So you can get a green card through the lottery or maybe through um family family through a fa through family relationship mm. which we are going to, to look at later. Yeah, most of the time it's through the lottery and through family relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you get once you get a green card, what does that mean? Is it a big deal? Is it does it look like just a visa to get you to America or is it a big deal? Once you you don't get a green card, you, you become selected. Mm -hmm. People um I don't I, I don't want to say mistake, but 
we mix we mix the terms mm. you don't get once you apply for a green card mm. the results come out the following year in may you find yes. out that you've been selected people say that i have gotten a green card no you have not yet gotten a green card you have just been selected, selected. okay yeah you'll mm. get your green card once you come here once you arrive here i hope we are together up to that point yes we are together and what does that mean after after being selected uh definitely you're going to talk to us about the process after being selected but we want to know uh is it is it such a big deal that what does it mean uh will i come to america and then i can come back home or is it now that i have located 100% uh i am now an american you know what what is it what are the privileges uh if i get this thing okay once you get a green card now you are in america you have your green card like this mm. you have now the advantage and the opportunity to live in america legally permanently you enjoy all the benefits the government benefits all the opportunities as a permanent resident of the united states of america you don't keep hiding you don't keep <laughs> hiding you can apply jobs you can yes. go to school you can get scholarships you can get financial grants mm. you can buy you a can... home you can buy a car you can do everything oh the difference, the difference between you and the american citizen is that mm. you can't vote okay but the city the american citizen votes but on all the other all the other opportunities you enjoy fully like a citizen but you mm. are not a citizen mm -hmm. but just a wow. permanent resident mm, nice hi yeah. how do you how do we apply how do you apply for this green card green card application it is very very easy easy yeah. Yes, it is mm. very very easy to apply for green card because the requirements which are needed are only two. Mm -hmm. Just two. The first thing is education. Mm -hmm. You must have a high school certificate. Mm. In America they call a high school diploma. It all it is all the same. High school diploma in in America, but in African countries we say high school certificate. and now the next requirement is a valid passport so long as you have those two requirements you go to go and apply mm. you can do application maybe you are maybe you have a laptop maybe you have a smartphone you can do the application yourself the the form you fill the names it is very easy because it is your details what is your name when were you born are you married are you single everything you write there and at the end you just and then there is a place where you are going to indicate the passport number mm -hmm. that's why the the passport is required i don't know why because it was introduced like two or three years ago during my time a passport was not required when we were doing the application If you can't do it yourself now you can go to a cyber and tell the cyber people I want to apply for this green card you just sit there watch whatever that that person is writing on that <laughs> mm -hmm. because whatever you write on that form it will be used against you that's true mm -hmm. after selection make sure the dates of birth are correct If you have a family maybe you have kids the dates of birth are correct the your names are well spelled everything is good don't leave him at where malisa i'm coming no this is a serious business mm -hmm. make sure you you include everything and you fill that form truthfully and honest and with a lot of honesty 
Thank you so much. We would want to know, you know, uh, relationship and marriages are difficult. Eh? Yes. So suppose somebody is feeling a form and maybe they are not in terms. And, you know, a lot of people make permanent decision uh, from a very temporary situation. Eh? So sometimes you find that uh, a family is not in terms, um, a couple is not in terms. Mm -hmm. And then when feeling for the green card, uh, I'm not going to include my husband or mm -hmm. I'm not going to include my wife. And then by the time uh, the green card resort is coming, you find out that you have been selected. Uh, what happens and how do we go about that mistake? When somebody is filling uh, the forms, the very first form to apply for the green card, what do you have? What is this special thing you need to put in your mind knowing that even if you're selected, but you made this mistake, you can unaiza kosa kupewa nafasi. I would say, don't fill that form when you have, when you are mad. And you have issues. <laughs> yes, because mm -hmm. uh, along the way, maybe you might get together, you solve your issues and everything go back to normal. And there you, you feel you are not married. And in such situa situations, you might find that you've been selected. So I would advise, even if you are mad, even if you have issues, but you are married, you can just go ahead and indicate that you are married. Even if you are going to break, to break up or maybe separate later, you don't have anything to lose. In the DS260, you'll indicate that your husband or your wife is not migrating with you. Okay. It, is better to, it, it is better to be safe than sorry. It mm. is better to include someone and let us say not migrating with me than not including them at all and later you can't regret I wish I included them. Thank That's you so point. much. Thank you. Of course, you have told us about the requirement uh, for you to apply for green card, but we would want to know who is eligible. Yeah, we yes. want to know who is eligible. In this sense, you find that a family is very enmeshed. It's very tight. I don't know whether that is the word. They are very mm -hmm. tight. Eh? Mm -hmm. And then uh, someone feels, hey, I want to include my mother. My shoujo, my auntie, you know, you know who is eligible when somebody is feeling. Mm. Okay. They indicate on that form that you can include your wife or your or your husband and your children. You can't include your mother, you can't include your father, you can't include your siblings, you can't include your cousin. You can't include any other person in the extended family. Even if, let's say for example, we're going, you had a sister, and maybe your sister had kids, and maybe your sister only left. Uh -huh. Died. Died yes. in this case. Yes. Now you are the one who is, who is a guardian to this kid or kids. You can't include them. Maybe you adopt them legally. You can adopt mm -hmm. them legally with with the documents. Now you can show I'm the guardian. Mm -hmm. These are my children. I they are my children through adoption. But without those uh, papers or documents, they'll ask a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. So you you, you include your children. Biological and legally adopted. Mm. Yes. Thank you and so children, much. Let me, uh, let me insist on this one before we go for a break, before we, we take a break. The kids uh, who, who are eligible to be, to be included are children who are 21 years and below and married. I hope you're even if she, the even even if your child is sixteen and she, she or he is married, don't include him. 
he must be 21 and below and unmarried. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this is my American Dream showroom one uh, on your YouTube channels, Windrose on Goy TV and Shiko Hope TV USA. And we are very, very happy that you're joining us today. We want to take a very, very short uh, break. Do not go too far. We are coming back with more, more, more of this. God bless you for keeping tuned. <laughs> back and thank you for watching my american dream this is room number room number one. Oh yes i our my co-host is my guest oh my goodness this is a <laughs> blessing <laughs> and don't don't forget these are uh, their girls eh? Can oh yes yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chico. yeah. We, we want to know how many times can one apply for, for green card? Okay. That is a very good question. You know, you may, you might say, ah, let me do like 10 applications so that I can increase my chances of being selected. Once you open that website, www.dv, something, dvprogram.com, yeah, something like that. <laughs> you just do one application. Just one. No double entry. No double entry. Mm -hmm. But, but, there is always a but. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. If you are a family, a husband and a wife. A husband, and, and both of you, you meet the two requirements we said earlier. You can, the husband can apply, include the wife and the kid. The wife can apply, include the husband and the kid. So in that family, we have like two applications for the husband and for the wife, but not double entry. Mm -hmm. Yes. After filling, uh, let's say you said we fill uh, in October. And then we wait for results sometime in May, the yeah. following year. Yeah. yeah. If I find out I was not selected, am I eligible? Is it is that possible for me to to apply again? Can I try again and again and again? How many times? Is there any limit? Once the results are re released in May the following year, we are here, fingers crossed. When we are checking the results, yeah. Once you find out that you you have been selected, you celebrate, and then you know this is a long process, so you, you brace yourself to start the processing. Mm -hmm. And you might get that you are not selected. You become like, okay, I was not lucky, but there is always a ah, next time. So the same same year in October. The application starts. I normally tell people, if you are selected, if you are not selected, can you apply again? There is no harm in applying again, mm -hmm. even if you are selected. Because even if you are selected, you don't have that green card already at hand. And because you are processing your visa, and you never know if you are going to get that visa or not go ahead and apply again people get selected with high case numbers maybe 40,000 50,000 and they apply again and let me tell you a blessed person is a blessed person they get selected again with a very low case number yeah so even if you're not selected apply again next year the following year until you get it. Mm -hmm. So yes. you can apply as many times as possible until you get it. You cannot be blocked uh, because of be trying blocked. again, again, and again. Yes, and you know what? There is no age limit. Mm. In green card application, there is no age limit. You can apply at 60, you can apply at 50, 
you can apply at at 22 there is no age limit as long as you meet the two requirements mm. yeah wow you kept on talking about being selected not being selected after you have been selected you start this process or we have heard you talk about selection selections we want to know about this uh, green card application and selection how does it happen is it a draw <laughs> is it by education is it by the looks by the country how do someone get selected let us just just know about this as the name suggests lot lottery let me call it with you lottery uh -huh. mm. that is like bahatina sibu so anybody can can be selected anybody can be selected they don't check so long as you meet the the requirements no so long as your photo you know when you apply there is a place where you are going to to put a photo passport photo to show this is we need this is Teresa. so long as your photo meets the requirement you are eligible now for the for the lottery yeah you can call it a draw so it goes pick 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 select 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 so it is just like that bahati nakibali i just say it's like being lucky and being favored mm. Yeah. Wow. Ni bahati yako tu. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Maybe uh, I want us to come to the end of our our first room, and then next week we will get into the next room because we don't want to exhaust everything. We want somebody. We want you to watch and get to understand everything about this application so that if you want to try this time round, you will not miss, you will not go wrong. But this time before we break, uh, Sheko, I want you to talk to somebody who have tried, who has been trying mm -hmm. again and again and again and not being selected. You know, what does that mean? You know, sometimes some, somebody can fear, I'll never try again. As much as I feel I would want, I am very, uh, I'm totally disappointed and frustrated in the past trials, so mm -hmm. I am not going to try again. Maybe you can talk to these people who have been trying and just tell them that it is possible and trying again means you have another opportunity to be selected. Yeah, and before I talk to them, I just want them to know that once you go to that room to, uh, to do that application, make sure that you print or you take a photo of that confirmation number. Mm. That is that is a very important point. I don't want to forget. Make sure you leave that cyber with your confirmation number. Now, let me talk to this person who have been applying. Maybe you started like in 2000. You have been applying, applying until now. You have not been selected. I normally tell you guys, myself i had lost hope i lost hope and i lost hope within my second trial but god came through and on my third trial we, we uh, my family uh, got selected mm. so never give up never lose hope i always tell you in our zekana i have a friend here who, who had tried for 11 times 11 years he got selected on 12 trial so it is wow. possible some people got selected in the first trial some second that we are all blessed differently mm -hmm. yeah so the best thing is not to give up to try again until you 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 get whatever you want mm. yeah Thank you. And uh, Shiko, you have mentioned about printing the confirmation number. And I remember uh, in one of your videos that I watched, you said you need to keep this number very safe. Yes. Don't share your number and don't lost, don't lose it. Make yes. sure that it is very safe. If you lose your number, if you if you lost it, I don't by the way, is it possible? How do I, you know, how do I know if I was selected or not if I lost it? You, there is an option mm -hmm. how you can retrieve your confirmation number because mm. 
once you're applying, you use uh, your email. And this, if you are going to the cyber, make sure you, you apply using your email, your own email. Because your email is like your key to your green card account. Use your own email and make sure you leave that place with a confirmation number. Either printed or a screenshot. Just make sure you have your email and you have your confirmation number with you. Yeah. That should be underlined. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Chico. Indeed, you are an, an amazing guest. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of information inside you. To the manga, a lot of things inside your head. Oh yes. <laughs> That was room one of my American dream. And I hope you have learned so much. I hope you have taken notes. And if you did not, you can go back and start restart again, listen again, take notes and make sure that you will be ready for next application for green card for now. We want to leave you at that point, but uh, next week we will come and continue and we will start from you have been selected. What next? You have yes. been selected. What next? Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>